Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I have yet another 2024 Chevy Equinox. This time again, it is still the LT trim level. However, this exterior color is brand new for this model year, and I think it might be one of the best in the lineup. So yes, yes, I know this is another Equinox LT, probably one of the most popular in the Equinox trim level, if I had to guess between this and the RS. Uh, but really this video I wanted to focus mainly on the exterior color because once again, this is brand new for 2024, is available on the Equinox, some of the Silverado trucks and a few other GM models as well. It's called North Sky Blue Metallic. And I have to say it is in a fantastic color, especially here in the sunlight with all of the metallic flake. It might actually be just a little bit better than the Riptide Blue, which is the bright blue available again on many GM products for 2024. It did replace Blue Glow Metallic, which was the more dark navy blue exterior for 2023. So uh, they still have two blues available in the Equinox lineup. However, they are both new for 2024. Now, as far as some of the changes for the Equinox lineup for 2024, it all pertained here to the LT trim level, both the base as well as some of the optional packages on the LT. So here, as far as the base go, the confidence and convenience group is now standard equipment across every LT, no matter if you get the base or some of the ones with the optional packages. Uh, but that is nice to see that GM made more standard content for the LT because once again, it is a very popular trim level and a lot of the equipment inside of that former optional package um, is just nice to have on a daily driver things like heated front seats, the power lift gate, uh, dual zone automatic climate control, stuff like that. So uh, really nice to see they made that standard equipment. And you might be wondering about pricing given that this did add more standard equipment. And that is actually gonna be the same as an equivalent 2023 or earlier Equinox. Uh, so that essentially they took the cost of that package in 2023, added it to the standard base price for 24. So again, the 23s and 24s here on the LC trim level are going to be the same exact MSRP as long as you factor in that optional package before. For. So the Equinox front wheel drive LT sitting next to me starts just over $30,000 including destination. So let's not waste your time and see what it has to offer. So the Equinox in front of us is finishing the new Lakeshore Blue Metallic with the black and gray two-tone cloth interior. And I have to say, like I mentioned in the introduction in this video, uh, this is such a fantastic blue color. Not exactly sure what about it is so nice, but the metallic flake in it is very strong. You can see here in the sunlight, it lightens up quite a bit. And uh, as a whole, I think GM does some of the best exterior colors on many of their models, at least for a more mainstream brand in that regard. But as a whole, huge props to GM for some of their exterior colors. Now up front of the LT, every LT Equinox is going to look the same from the outside. So you have the nice bright chrome grill that runs across uh, the center of the two headlamps. Speaking of headlamps, these are gonna be the standard LED reflectors with the LED daytime running light in this portion right here with your incandescent turn signals in the lower portion. You do get LED fog lights in some of the Premier models, uh, but that is the only Equinox that does come with the LED fog lights. Front and rear parking sensors standard for 2024 on every LT with the gold bow tie, but of course black is going to be available as a dealer installed accessory. And the LT also adds a little chrome strip at the bottom of the front and rear bumpers just for a little bit of nicer accent touch. Again, it's just a little bit more premium looking than that of the very base LS. Now coming around to the side of the Equinox, you don't have any body cladding like I mentioned in some of my other Equinox videos, which I think sets this compact SUV apart from some of the competition that has just some of the matte black plastic, textured plastic wheel arches, uh, give it a more rugged vibe. Uh, but I really do like the body color here on the Equinox. Coming in the wheels and tires, these are gonna be the standard silver painted 17 inch alloy wheels found on the LT. These are gonna be wrapped in 225, 65, 17 inch Michelin Primacy AS all season tires. So a very nice high quality all season at that. Body color mirror caps, no turn signal integration on this one, nor cameras for the 360 camera system, but that is available as the option package for the LT. They are going to be heated and it does have blind spot detection. Proximity entry on both front door handles with the nice chrome accented belt line trim that runs across to the rear doors and up the C pillar right there. Rear tinted windows as standard equipment and uh, some of the black textured plastic around the bottom with the black te textured plastic shark fin antenna as well up there. So pretty standard stuff as far as the appearance goes on the outside. Out back you do have incandescent lighting for the tail lights, turn signals and reverse lights. LEDs are going to be available and optional on some of the upper trims. There's your rear parking sensors with the nice chrome bright work on the rear bumper. Backup camera, gold bow tie. This one is not all wheel drive, so no all wheel drive badge out back, but you do get the LT on the side of the tailgate. 
And that is pretty much gonna do it for the exterior. Like I mentioned, most of the LTs are pretty much gonna look the same outside of the optional 18 inch wheels that you can get um, as a standalone accessory or option. And uh, some of them will have the panoramic sunroof option as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker really quick, see what this one has available in standard. And then we'll go ahead and dive onto the inside. So like I mentioned, this is as bare bones or as basic as an LT gets, not even being all wheel drive or no available option packages, but you still get a very nice equipment package on the inside with Sirius XM, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, LED headlamps, power driver seat, folding rear seats, and a lot of the standard safety equipment system, such as automatic emergency braking, forward collision avoidance, lane keeping assist, pedestrian detection, and auto high beam assist, among a few other items. Uh, but that brings the total MSRP on this one to $30,890, including destination. So taking a look on the interior of this particular Equinox, this is considered the jet black interior or the standard option for the Equinox. However, it is more of a two-tone effect, which we'll touch on here in a second. Starting out here on the door panels, you have a nice soft touch portion right here that wraps into the armrest and up on the uh, upper trim. You don't often see that here on some compact SUVs. This is normally kind of all hard touch. So nice to see that GM is making the soft touch, especially where your elbow might rest. Chrome door handle pull, power windows, mirrors, and locks with automatic driver side window. There's your power tailgate with adjustable and programmable height and a good amount of storage here in the lower door panel. Come in the driver's seat, this is the power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar. And once again, the standard cloth seats, which are a two-tone effect with some accent stitching. And immediately here on the interior, this is gonna be very familiar, especially if you have been in an Equinox in the current generation, which has been out since the 2018 model year, believe it or not. Uh, they really haven't changed a whole lot inside, so it is gonna be very familiar, but some of the uh, technology has changed among a few other tweaks as well. Now the instrument cluster is gonna be mainly analog with a small 4.2 inch color display in the center controlled on the right side of the steering wheel. It has things like your digital speed readout, gear selection, you have your compass. You can put some of your other information up here as well, um, including the trip information, fuel economy, um, some of your safety systems and stuff like that. Uh, so very useful screen, just a little bit on the smaller side of things. Leather wrapped steering wheel that is not going to be heated in this one because it does not have the optional package, but does have lane keeping assist, forward collision avoidance, and some nice chrome bright work on the bottom that does make it just a little bit more premium. But nice to see it is still leather wrapped. Automatic high beam assist here on the left side, regular wipers here on the right. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your gauge dimming as well as your automatic headlight controls. No fog lights on this one once again. And coming across the dashboard, it does have some nice soft touch accents here, uh, but mainly a black plastic hard touch dashboard. You do have your red LED indicator lights, which does function as part of the safety system. So forward collision, uh, lane keeping assist, stuff like that. It will project onto the window and just flash a red LED light at you to warn you uh, that something is going on. Now coming over to the infotainment system, this is the smaller of the two screens available in the Equinox. The seven inch display, is standard on the LT and you can get the eight inch on some of the upper trim levels, including the optional package here on the LT. Now I will admit this is kind of a small display for today's day and age, but it still does have wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, OnStar services, built-in Wi-Fi hotspot, and you do control a lot of your vehicle settings up here as well. So it is very handy. It's still a pretty high resolution display, just a little bit on the smaller side. I like the physical buttons here along the bottom, makes it easy to control. Um, and some of the chrome accents around the vents definitely set it off as well. Here's your engine stop start on off and your hazard buttons. Dual zone automatic climate control with heated front seats are standard on every LT. Good amount of storage down here with your USB-A, USB-C inputs and your auxiliary. That is getting rare and hard to find in many uh, GM and other vehicles. So the Equinox 4 2024 still has that, uh, which may be one of the last GM vehicles at that. And you do have a 12 volt charge outlet beside that. Here's your proximity uh, parking sensors on and off button, both front and rear are controlled by this one singular button. There's your transmission select with manual gear selection on the side, electronic parking brake, and here is the standard proximity key fob with your uh, tailgate open as well as vehicle remote start. Kind of a rubberized texture here on the center console. Inside you'll find a good amount of storage with a little LED light and removable storage compartment. Up top you do have kind of a light gray or off gray headliner. There's your LED Vandy illumination, manual dimming interior rear view mirror, OnStar SOS passenger airbag alert sensor, overhead LED lighting, and you do still have a sunglasses holder, 
once again, a rare or hard to find thing, depending on what you make and model you are looking at. And once again, this one does not have a sunroof, but that is going to be available as a standalone option. Now coming out back of the Equinox, you will find a pretty spacious rear seat, again, considering the size and the segment of SUV this is in. Now starting out here with the door plan, you do have these soft touch materials that do carry through from the front, which is very nice to see, and a good amount of storage in the lower door panel there. The seat accent and color does carry through as well with the gray insert, kind of that textured pattern and the accent stitching. Step and height is going to be very easy, again, given the ride height and overall design. There's a quick look at the front dashboard. As far as rear seat amenities go, we do have AC vents, two USB-A charge outlets, and there's not the 120 volt charge outlet uh, a little bit farther down on the floor because this is a base model LT, but that does come as part of the optional packages uh, like the one I showed a few months ago here on the channel. One mat pocket on the passenger seat, none on the driver's seat. The seat backs do recline via this lever up here, so it does have a two position. There's the first one there. If you pull it back and just push it a little bit, it will recline just about an inch or two, which gives you just a little bit of a softer angle. And I have to say that's very nice for road trips, but it does not recline quite as far as some of the other vehicles I've showcased, uh, such as the Tucson, Santa Fe, stuff like that. So do keep that in mind. Uh, center armrest, it does have two cup holders, which is very nice to see. And as a whole, like I said, the rear seat room is extremely spacious for a compact SUV. You can see behind my rough seating position, I have like six to eight inches, plenty of foot room. And as far as the headroom goes, Again, I have like three, four, five inches of headroom as a whole. Plenty of room in the back. You won't find a ton of amenities, but what you do have um, is very nice for the price point. And coming around to the cargo space or the trunk area of the Equinox, like I said, you are going to find a fairly spacious uh, cargo capacity given the overall footprint or size of this SUV. On the left side, you do have a little cargo uh, storage cubby. On the right, you have your levers to fold down the second row seats as well as an additional 12 volt charge outlet. Underfloor storage is plentiful in the Equinox, and your spare tire is going to be found a little bit further down under the kind of second false floor, which you can see right here. So as a whole, plenty of car capacity and underfloor storage in the Equinox, especially compared to some of the competitors in this segment. Now finally wrapping it up here on the passenger front seat, all the materials and stuff are gonna be the same as the driver's side. You do have a six-way manual passenger seat, which is very nice because it does include manual height adjustment. That's not something you typically see standard on every compact SUV, but the Equinox does have it. Glove box is damped. It does not have any lighting inside, but it is a very useful size indeed. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much a look on the interior of the Equinox LT. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood, see what powers this particular Equinox, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So under the hood of the Equinox, you're gonna find the same powertrain no matter which trim level you get, as this is the sole option currently available, and that is the 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder, which puts out 175 horsepower and 203 pound-feet of torque. This one not having the optional all-wheel drive means power is sent only through the front wheels via a six-speed torque-converted automatic. So pretty traditional powertrain that has been standard or found in the Equinox in some capacity in the entire generation. Uh, there was formerly optional two liter turbo paired to an eight or nine speed automatic. But of course that has been discontinued a few model years ago. So this is kind of the only thing carrying on the Equinox in its current generation for the foreseeable future until an all new generation is released. So that's gonna do it for this quick walk around tour of this 2024 Chevy Equinox LT here in the base LT trim level. I kind of just wanted to show you this Equinox once again for the exterior color and show you what a very bare bones base LT gets you in terms of equipment. As a whole, I think this is a very value-oriented trim level. Um, it's great that Chevy made the changes that they did for 2024 to make more standard equipment, but of course you are kind of forced into paying for that even if you wouldn't have optioned it for 2023 or prior. So it's kind of a give or take in that regard, but I think it is well worth it. Still think it is very competitive in the low $30,000 price point. Um, but maybe a little bit older in terms of its generation and a little bit farther behind versus some of the competition which has been out in its current generation for at least two to three years now and does offer more optional and available equipment if not uh, standard equipment as well. Of course, we will have to see what Chevy decides to do with this current generation Equinox with the Equinox EV, which is a totally different platform, fully electric model that should be out at the late end of 2023 into early 2024. 
And uh, again, I can see them offering both gas and electric versions, but, but it'll be interesting to see if Chevy decides to do, you know, like a heavy refresh or an all new generation like they did on the upcoming 2024 Chevy Traverse. So I think that would definitely help the Equinox in terms of competitiveness um, and just keeping buyers interested in this vehicle. But again, we will have to wait and see on what they decide to do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and or found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed and make sure to stay tuned for some awesome some content coming in the very near future. I'm very excited for what we have here in the next few weeks. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the North Sky Blue metallic exterior color here on the Equinox. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.